Hi, it's Steve. Uh, this morning I'm in Basingstoke. We're going out to uh, the DAF XF. I believe the trailer's loaded because it's got to go back to the depot and the unit um, will be going on to the DAF dealership. Hopefully it should be on this slip road around here for a bit of luck. Let's see if he's coming on. Right. Here he is, lovely. Right, okay, here he is, yep. Yeah. Right, let's get some lights on. And get some cones off and get this uh get this area safe and uh yeah let's get it loaded all right let's back up to it now and it's like a high trailer this one probably a double deck yeah, cars are going around here a bit quick so we need to safe area for ourselves to work well right lovely okay on the DAF now uh, so it's quite a quite high trailer it's running about 16 free years he's it's got quite a light load but the height is 16 free so this is quite tall I combed the, the lane up best I can here people not looking but fortunately it doesn't drive it's stuck in gear so fortunately without moving the half shaft out and rolling it down a hill um, we've combed it off best we can got the hazard lights on and the truck lights but yeah hopefully people are paying a bit of attention right let's get it loaded so, right let's crack on to be here too long okay right here yeah, we're gonna have to pre-lift this again as we always do the driver's in the cab now asking not to touch the handbrake at all. Yeah, it's not the best of locations really. Alright. Here we're going under. Be lifting pre lifting on the on the axle just getting underneath the like little cross member there it's protecting the radiator pipe it's turned a little bit they come back a bit they're yeah, not the best places to load There we go. Yeah, you just say. All right, let's step it up a bit. Up we go. It's got a bit of weight on there, actually even though I'm picking a fair way out on the boom. I think it's probably got a bit more weight than what he thinks he's got on there.
Okay, he's picked up, been picked up before. Actually, you can actually see the marks on this. Draw did say it has broke down before. Cones all right, let's see him attacked. Right, okay, he's adding a little collar to give a bit of height. It's all so low, these trucks now. See all this stuff here, and you've got this cross member. It just hides their pipes. Right. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna go up uh, just in front of the the bolt and before the axle gets thicker. There we go. So it's getting thicker towards the middle, and we've got the bolt on the top, just, so where we fit there it won't move either way. Let's just keep an eye on that traffic a little bit. Here we go, just lift a little bit more, gives a bit more clearance for the chaining. Right. Yeah, it's quite a way out on the boom. That's probably why it's a little, looks a bit more heavy than what it normally would do. Right. A bit dark under here. over top and down. Oh. That's it. the axle it's a little bit short to go over the top of the any roll bar so we have to go underneath it right a bit tricky this bit yet so if a longer chain it would make things a little bit easier that's all right we can drop that through the other side of the spring stick that on there that's fine. Right, both chains done. Right. Apparently the gearbox is actually locked up, so we're gonna take the half shaft before I uh, power it in with a boom. This will be 24 mil again. Get rid of the stands, we won't be getting under the front, that's taken care of. gloves actually have you taking note here Phil need some more gloves blue gloves anyway right so it's 24 mil half shaft and we put in the near side the diff locks on the off side on the dash just one shaft will be pulling 24 right okay Then I pop round and get me cover ready. Yeah, it looks like it's been picked up before because the a bit of oil residue around the wheels. The dirt not been cleaned off. Oh, 
leave that last one to get me cover ready All right, nobody's hit them yet. Right. <coughs> Putting the cover back on it. Let's see if there's any oil leaking out while we're recovering it. I hope she should stop any uh, oil marking the wheel like it's done before. Right, there we go. That's it. The cover back on so that will roll now. So we'll be able to drop that down a little bit, get the driver to take the handbrake off and I'll move her in. Then we get the Susie lines and that fitted in to it. Right, dirty job done. Okay, right, bring that down a bit. So I'm just going to roll her in now, bring her in on the boom, and we lift her. Just getting a bit. That's a little bit more off the bin now. Normally, if it's fully that fully loaded, this axle would be down, but. He's not fully loaded, but he's got a bit on, obviously. He's on his way to Nottingham, so he wouldn't be going there with nothing on there to deliver. Right, okay, let's get a, let's get this door open, let's get an airline into the front cab. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I, you, yeah, I'll just drop it down for you, just let the driver out. I've been tooted so many times. All right, park in here, yeah, yeah. Well, believe it, well, believe it. Right, okay. Let's get an airline uh, to the tractor unit. Keep that supply with air. Then we put two lines to the trailer. One to supply the trailer of air. Another one we use to break it, a service light. Okay. There we go. Lovely. Right, this is a death. Uh, test point. Right, let's just keep checking that road. So you don't slow down, as you say. <laughs> right, okay, that's fine. Okay, and I put the airlines in. Right, okay, so that's a yellow service line. Okay, this is a airline. Agency one, supplying that. Oh, that's it. My place supplying the trailer there. I'm going to leave the electrics on to last minute. I'll probably use my uh, cordless trailer board actually. I can come this side and go round with this. 
Unfortunately, the airlines are this side. So either bring them around that side, or go around the near side. Let's try to come around this side. Come on, then. Should lock my set. That's it, that's locked. Right. This is the red one, this is the ply the trade over here for my truck. That's it, now it's got here. Right, and the other one's a service line. That will do the braking. When it decides to lock. Right, let's get them connected and tie them up in a minute. Oh. Right, now we've got brakes in the trailer. I need a couple here, let's put one on here. See where we stand in. That's fine there. Oh, lovely, good spot. Thank you. Right, right, let's get the trailer ball off and uh, we're ready to roll. Okay. Lovely, let's pop this on there quick. Okay, the back end. Still got the hazards on, yeah. Yeah, of course, a bit of problem today. Can't be 
Look at this field. Really, as you say, it's quite a sweeping bend. They should be able to, you know, be looking in front of them as well as looking at the side. Got a bit of warning. Turn the hazard lights off the trailer. Pop these on these quick. Right, job done. between there right okay things working there let's take that off the lights off a trailer so right it's only a couple of miles away so so you'll be climbing up again into the cab. You take the big trick the Susie off, so there's no lights on the on the back of the trailer, just my trailer ball. Right, that'll do us for now. Let's get out of here. Right, thanks very much for watching. Loading on a slip road.